accident at Jurong Shipyard, which left 89 workers injured, is one of the worst accidents in Singapore, said Senior Parliamentary Secretary for Manpower, Hawazi Daipi. This, we consider, is one of the biggest accidents that have happened in Singapore. About 90 workers uh, were injured. Um, although this is not the, the biggest or the worst accident, we still treat this very, very seriously. Nine workers involved in the accident at the Jurong Shipyard have been sent to the Singapore General Hospital. Out of the nine, seven have been discharged and two remain under observation. One of the two is a Singaporean female engineer. In National University Hospital, 45 were sent, with 39 discharged and another five admitted, with one remaining under observation. At about 6.50pm on Monday, Mr Hawazi visited two people, a 22-year-old Singaporean female engineer, and a Bangladeshi man at the Singapore General Hospital. Well, first, I have just visited uh, two workers. One is a 22-year-old Singaporean uh, engineer and, and a Bangladeshi worker uh, who, is, who are under observation. They look well, a bit shocked, but uh, they look well, and I hope they will recover soon. Um, the, uh, most of the other uh, workers who are referred to SGH have been uh, discharged and one is, uh, has been referred to a specialist for further assessment. One of them told me that uh, she fell over as she was trying to help others uh, in the accident and uh, she, her chest hit something. She didn't quite feel it then, but uh, when, after she has been rescued, she felt the pain and that's why she is under observation. The accident took place at about 10.30 a.m. at the Jurong Shipyard worksite at Tanjong Kling Road. Preliminary findings showed that the three-legged jack-up rig tilted to one side after the jack-up mechanism of one of the legs failed to work. This caused some workers to fall into the river. Of the 89 workers sent to hospitals, 77 have since been discharged. Six remain in normal wards while another six are under observation. The ministry has issued a stop work order at the site. Investigations are ongoing. Well, first we have to establish how it happened and uh, why it happened and uh, then we will decide on what further action necessary uh, to ensure that uh, the safety of workers will, al will always be uh, on the mind of employers. In this case, we have to know the reasons for the accident and uh, and see to it that employers will make sure that uh, uh, it will not get worse in the sense that no further injuries set aside. In a Facebook post, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Long wrote that Singapore must remain vigilant and continue to do better when it comes to workplace safety. PM extended his sympathies to those injured in the accident and said the investigations will find out what went wrong and needs to be put right. Workplace safety is very important. We owe it to workers to make sure that the working environment is safe and that everyone follows safe work practices. Today's accident reminds us that we must remain vigilant and do better still. Everyone has a part to play, including employers, workers and safety inspectors. Acting Manpower Minister Tan Chuan Jin also posted on Facebook that the safety of workers isn't just about rules and regulations, but the way we value their lives. Our workers must be able to go home safe to their loved ones daily at the end of the day's work. Our focus at this point in time is to look after the well-being of the injured workers and render them assistance with their recovery.